Hello and welcome to Operation Crypto. Today we will take a look over EOS. We'll have a look at some of the basic fundamentals of the project, have a look at some key statistics, and have a look at some chat analysis towards the end to see where the price could actually go in the future. So if you are interested in finding out more, please make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel, and let's crack on. So let's begin. We will start on my EOS IO website and here we can get a basic overview about the project and what we're trying to achieve. So EOS IO is a next generation open source blockchain protocol with industry leading transaction speed and flexibility utility. Introduced in May 2017, it has since been widely recognized as the first performance blockchain platform for businesses across the world. And we have two main components to EOS IO. We have a Block.1 and EOS VC, and we will look into both of these. So Block.1 is a global leading high performance blockchain software. In June 2018, the company published the EOS IO blockchain protocol and has since continued to develop and optimize open source software for companies and developers to build enterprise level blockchain solutions. EOS VC is a business unit of Block.1 that is committed to deploying funds through venture capital partnerships invested in the future development of blockchain technologies in the EOS IO ecosystem. EOS VC partner fund have assembled the most knowledgeable and capable advisors to mentor and provide strategic direction to portfolio companies around the world. So why do we need EOS IO and what is it here to solve? So. They say EOSIO is a blockchain platform designed for the real world, built for both public and private use cases. EOSIO is customizable to suit a wide range of business needs across industries with rich role-based security permissions, industry-leading speed, and secure application processing. Building on EOSIO follows familiar development patterns and programming languages used by existing non-blockchain applications so developers can create a seamless user experience using development tools they already know and love and here we have the benefits to that so it is scalable and fast industry leading speed and latency in transactions and throughput it is cost effective flexible cost model by resources for operation with zero transaction fees that's a lot of coins are giving towards that now i mean people want things doing instantly and at no cost and if they can solve that with the speed and the zero transaction fees then that is something to be looking into deeper and finding out what is actually about and then eco-friendly sustainable and energy efficient consensus mechanism built for performance and it does show the industries they, they are trying to target so it does say tailor fit to your business needs is built for a variety of use cases spanning industries fit for blockchain challenges so we have marketplaces social media, finance, healthcare, government and supply chain. They are trying to target every single industry out there and, and that's great to see. Here we have the EOS network monitor and this just gives us a rough idea of transaction speeds and, and what's going on on the network. Um, if we look here on the TPS live all time highs for us, so currently we're getting 32 transactions per second which is a lot, lot more than Bitcoin which is around 7 transactions and sometimes even slower. But as you can see, it's a very interesting point that the all-time highs was 3,960. Sorry, 3,996. Uh, that will have been under some um, network testing, so it just shows the capabilities that the network does possess. Um, um, if it can be running at maximum um, output, then that is an absolutely rapid system. But as you can see now, it's just trickling through at around 30 TPS, so things still go through fairly quickly compared to Bitcoin. To take a look at some statistics of EOS, let's have a look at coin market cap and see what we can see. So currently ranked nine out of all cryptocurrencies with a price of two dollars fifty three. Market cap is two point three billion dollars. Uh, the total supply of EOS is just over one billion and uh, nine hundred and thirty three million of them are in circulation. Scrolling down as you can see it's been around a fair while so it has quite a lot of price action. Um, what I'm interested in is the all-time highs in April of 2018 hit $22.89 and as you can see we're still a fair way off that now so 
he just showed that for his potential there for a great investment. I just want to run over the, the mining section. Um, as you can see, it is not a proof of work coin. A lot of people ask this question um, about AOS, but it is, cannot be mined like proof of work cryptocurrencies because it uses a delegated proof of stake system. Instead, block producers create the blocks and are rewarded for each block of the creation of EOS tokens. Block producers are disincentivized from giving themselves high rewards by a limiting mechanism that prevents total annual token supply from increasing by more than 5%. So that's good to know that it does not keep increasing like the, the very um, slow and um, un energy efficient proof of work systems. And then just having a look at market pairs to finish up before we look at some charts. If it loads up, yep. So it is trading a lot of the exchanges. It is um, a very lot of pairs. How many do we have? <laughs> wow, that's most of those things. So it's currently on coin market cap showing 376 pairs. That is absolutely insane. But as you can see, um, predominantly volume is getting done Huobi, Binance, Coinbean, and OKX. There's some major exchange names down here. So that's one key point to um, take a look at and remember that. It is <laughs> it's held by a lot of exchanges, so therefore it's one to hold and one that people feel very confident about. And to finish up, let's just have a look at some chart analysis and, and see what's happened in the past. So if I want to have a look at this price phase that we had back in 2018, that's when we hit the all-time highs. So we did shoot from down there too, and we peaked up, and we did a 500% price rise, and that was not in a bull run. So as you can see, back in the... December bull run. So if we take the beginning of December, we'll take this bottom here because that looks like it was starting to move. We also had a, a, a big rise then. So it's done two major moves there, as you can see. And then ever since, we've been on pretty much of a, a decline ever since. Um, and that's not to say that we can't go up from here. So we need to zoom into a current price. We'll get rid of that. Um, and see what can potentially happen over the next six months to a year so i'm guessing this was yeah 13th of march this is when predominantly all coins hit their yearly lows of 2020 due to the fact that bitcoin did a major 50 percent dump and it it was uh, around just under was it just under four thousand dollars in the three thousand dollar mark um, and most coins have gone up but this is slightly different as it seems to have rolled over and now it's starting to retrace so what i want to do is just work out how much um of this move we have completed and where we can potentially look at buying in so the Fibonacci is also a great tool for this so if we just take the, the main body of them and take it up to the top body we're going to discount wicks because sometimes they just get they try and liquidate some orders up there especially on um, leverage trading but we're currently trading around the 38% retracement levels um, potentially to get back in this if you're looking at a good entry point I have not got any EOS but if you're looking for a potential buy, the 61, um, 618 level is a great point to buy in usually. I mean, that's a 60% retracement of the overall move, so that would be a great price to buy. And around the $2.27 mark. Um, in my opinion, there's no harm in putting some offers in around here, put some spot trades in at around the $2.10 mark. And you never know, you can get some wicks down and potentially grab some of orders and it would be a great investment opportunity. With regards to price um, predictions going forward, I mean, we could easily go back up to the levels of where it was we was at around twenty. Oh, get rid of that. So we was at around twenty. Where are we were twenty three dollars. I mean that from current prices now would be a seven hundred percent. No, oh, sorry, yep, 760% price raise. And as you can see, two big moves has happened like in the past. Um, and this didn't really perform well in the bull run like some of the coins did. So, in my opinion, this could easily go past $30. Um, and if we do get a, a mega insane bull run, it, it, there's no nothing to say that we couldn't get up to these $50 regions. But we just need to play it by here and... And we need to trade this price for what it currently is at the minute. And if you can get in at around $2, then that will be a great investment for the future. So that will wrap it up for today's video. That is just a, a very basic overview of what EOS is. 
Um, please make sure you comment um, and like the video if you didn't. If you have any comments or any questions, drop them in the comments and I will try and answer them. And also please make sure you subscribe to my channel, it does help me out a lot. I am trying to target a thousand subscribers um, and we are slowly getting there so thank you for all that. So catch you next time.